Everything in today's video is very serious, and this is an informational video to share to the audience what not to do, because you can be punished like these convicts are for the rest of their lives. First, we have a boy who was sentenced to life in prison. He was in courtroom for three hours, and tons and tons of tears were rolling down his face as he's in the courtroom. There's no excuse for what he did, and now he's just getting what he deserves. Antonio Barbeau will be eligible for parole on his 50th birthday. Tom Murray was in court today for the sentencing. This teenager cried several times during his three-hour sentencing proceeding. Antonio Barbeau will be eligible for parole on his 50th birthday, but that's by no means a guarantee he'll ever get out of prison. <laughs> Instead of starting his freshman year in high school, 14-year-old Antonio Barbeau will go to prison. He showed varying emotions in court, at times wiping tears from his face. Then Barbo smirked and shook his head when the prosecutor spoke. He read only a few words from his own statement. There's a lot going around said by the news, DA, and many other people that I'm a cold, heartless, care careless killer. That's, that's not true. Barbo pled no contest and was convicted of once again, another boy, crying, wishing he wouldn't have done what he did. Listening to the mother of the victim speak, he now gets a chance to speak on what he's done after being sentenced to life in prison. Let's hear what this boy has to say. He is a coward, and forgiveness is not an option for me. After everyone had their chance to speak in this Wapolo County courtroom, it was Dustin Armstrong's chance to say something about what he'd done. Do you have anything you wish to say to me prior to my announcing what I'm going to do here today, sir? Oh, Your Honor. Being betrayed by the man I was with for nearly three years brought me into the deepest pain I've ever known. When Judge Joel Yates gave the guilty sentencing, Armstrong lost control of his emotions, dropped his head into his hands, and cried. And you'll have plenty of time in the Iowa penal system to think about what you've done to this defenseless child. Tears were shed throughout the courtroom, some of joy as justice was served, others of pain as Sue Adler watches her son leave for prison. We now have a convict who gets sentenced to life in prison, and he has a lot of police officers behind him in case something crazy goes on. We'll see how he reacts and what the others have to say. Junior, before sentencing. I'm sorry for what happened here, but I can't do life in prison. And I'm not a bad person, but I made mistakes. But I'm not just some gangbanger that she tried to betray me as. During sentencing, Spencer completely broke down. The minimum period of parole eligibility is 15 years plus 25 years of life in accordance with Penal Code Section 12022.53d. This is to be concurrent with the school term. Now, with more security, do students feel safer? I definitely do feel safe, especially since, like, after 9 p.m., they have, you have to show your ID and everything. And I wasn't here to witness, I'm just a freshman, but, um, I don't know, I've never felt unsafe here. I feel very safe. I've actually been here on campus. This is my 34th year. We're getting a pattern of kids crying over the crimes that they've done and pleading for remorse to the victim's family. He's not getting anything back. His tears seem to be real, but then again, maybe he's just doing it to try to plead for his life. Instead, this doesn't work, and he receives the life sentencing. You just can't accept that. You know me. You've known me for five years. I never would have wanted to hurt Austin. I never wanted Austin. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know why I didn't go for help. I wanted to be able to handle it. I wanted to be everything that my father wasn't to me and everything my stepfather was to me. I don't have a good family life. I have it my whole life. It's been really rough. <laughs> Most of my family has abandoned me. I, I made a stupid choice a couple of years ago and I ruined half my family. The other half haven't been supportive. But I do want to thank them for being here today. I know their family is here. Thank you guys for being here. This man, Smith Riley, is being sentenced to life in prison without parole. He will be spending the rest of his life in prison. When he hears his sentencing, you'll just see how he reacts. Smith Riley, he became very emotional, even collapsing at one point. But the families of those victims tell us this is way too little, too late. Four defendants serve a term of life without parole. As to count for, for the offense. 
This reaction from a confessed was the last in a series of intense moments in this Hamilton County courtroom and exactly what the victim's families asked for. I have to deal with life without Portia, so he should deal with life without, without parole. With his request to withdraw his guilty plea denied and death penalty off the table, the families of Portia Brooks and Aaron Martin pleaded with Judge Charles Kubicki to hand down the maximum sentence. Smith Riley's family begged for a shorter one. With no criminal record outside of that night, they believed he had the capacity to be rehabilitated. When this boy finds out what his sentencing was, he literally just can't believe it. He looks around the room and he's about to break down. And then literally goes to the floor. There's a saying that if you don't want to do the time, don't commit the crime. In this case, they're going to do the rest of their life. Minimum on count one of that. As to count two in that case, felonious assault, a felony of the second degree, it is ordered that the defendant shall serve a term of two years in prison on that count. As to count three of that case, the robbery, which is also a felony of the second degree, the court uh, orders that the defendant shall serve a term of two years on that oh, count shit. as well. The court orders that the defendant shall serve a term of two years on that count. As well. Next, we have a man who used to be a police officer. This guy has done some very bad things. He has over five charges being held against him. This goes to show that even a police officer can make huge mistakes and cost them life in prison. Not all officers are bad, though. Ears. Count two. Not guilty of the crime of... Count three, burglary in the first degree. Defendant is not guilty of the crime of burglary in the first degree, nor lesser included. Count four, defendant is guilty of the crime of procuring. Punishment is set at five years. Count five, defendant is guilty of the crime of 31 by instrumentation. Defendant is guilty of the crime of and punishment is set at 12 years. Count 32. Defendant is guilty. Mr. Holtzclaw, this jury finds you guilty of the various uh, counts. You will be remanded to the custody of the Oklahoma County Sheriff for formal sentencing set January 21st, 2016 at 10 o'clock a.m. All right, you have a seat. The custody of the sheriff, you're excused. We have a man or a boy who is getting sentenced to life in prison. He was just a high school student who had something against his teacher and took his anger out on her, and now is sentenced to life in prison. The jury, having returned a verdict of guilty of murder in the first degree on deliberate premeditation and extreme atrocity and cruelty, you will hearken to the sentence the court has awarded against you. The court, having duly considered your offenses, it is hereby ordered that you be committed to the Department of Youth Services until the age of 21, and furthermore committed to the Massachusetts Correctional Institution at Cedar Junction for the period of not less than 25 years and not more than life and that you stand committed in execution of this well you guys if you learned something in today's video go down below and drop a like hit that subscribe button to continue watching more informational videos just like this one and i'll see you guys in the next video oh and also press on the video on the screen right now to continue watching more amazing videos just like this one